Hey guys, it's Christina and welcome back to another Plan With Polish Land video. Today I'm filming a plan with me on the week of January 18th through the 24th and we are going back in time a little bit because if you watched my planning on the go video, which I will have linked on the screen for you right now, you'll know that I was away for about a week and I did not take my planner with me. All I took was this little notebook and if you want to learn how I use this, you can check out that planning on the go video because I explain it in detail. But I'm going to take everything that's in this notebook and put it into my planner now. So this is a little bit different than my normal plan with me videos, but I thought it would be a lot of fun. And I'm doing a cat theme this week. And to do that, I am using this weekly kit from Allie's Planner Hood. This is called, I believe, the Fancy Feline Kit. And if it is currently live in her shop, I will have it linked below. Otherwise, I will just link her shop for you guys. And as always, you can use the code POLISH15 to get 15% off any order at Allie's Planner Hood. But this is the kit I will be using. It has little kitties right here, here, and here. And then this one is polka dots. And the colors match perfectly with January's colors. And then what really inspired me to do a cat theme was my January Pip 6 kit. And this decorative sheet came with that kit. And it is just perfect. Not only do the colors match up, but I love the art style. And this cat is awesome. I also have these two other cat sticker sheets. These also came in my January Pip Sticks kit. They don't match up as well, but I figured I would have them on hand just in case. So let's go ahead and get started. Please excuse my voice because I am recovering from a cold. I'm feeling much better, but I still sound a little grogy. I'm going to begin by placing my today headers over here in this section. And then I'm going to place a full checklist down next to it. And these kits are made for the Erin Condren vertical, but you can totally make them work in your horizontal planner. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this for each of the days, and I will be back when that is done. Okay, now that I have all of my today sections laid out, I'm going to work on my notes section down here. And I'm going to reach for a hydrate sticker first. I was able to keep track more or less of how much water I was drinking throughout the week. So that was really good, especially because when I got sick, it was really important to drink a lot of fluids. Now, usually I put either an errands or a too clean section down here, but I'm not going to do that this week just because I was away and I wasn't cleaning or running particular errands. So what I'm going to do is just cover with some washi tape and put a decorative sticker down in my thankful thought. I'm going to reach for this little chevron washi tape. It might be hard for you to see on camera, but I got this washi tape um, for Christmas. It came with the washi crafts book that I received as a gift. And if you want to see that, I will put my what I got for Christmas video on the screen for you right now. I'm just going to lay this down right across the top. This is actually quite opaque. You can see the writing a little bit, but not very much, which is good. And let's hope this tears. It does. Great. So this is really good quality washi tape. I will make sure to link that book in the description if you want to get it yourself. Now I'm going to take this cat right here and put her down in my notes because I absolutely love her and I need to have her in this spread. And she fits really well down here. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. And I'm just going to leave my notes blank for now because I'm not sure what else I want to put there. But next, I am going to reach for another one of those little washi rolls. This one has blue arrows on it, and I'm going to use this to mark the days where I'm traveling. So I'm just going to fold my planner. And I was gone all the way through until Friday. So I'm just going to put this right along the side here. and flip this over and I left on Friday so I'm just going to do a little bit of this washi tape. I left on Friday morning so I'm gonna put this about in the middle and tear that up. Okay 
So that washi tape represents the days that I was out of town. Next, I'm going to reach for one of these flight tracker stickers from Oh Hello Stationery Co. I think I will take the, let's see, I'll take the pink one and I'm going to put that right down here so that I can mark my flight information. I think these stickers are genius. I love them. And then the next thing I'm going to do is reach for my little notebook and begin to fill in what I did on each day. So on Monday is actually when I got sick. And basically the way this week worked is I watched my nephew in the mornings. Then after he went down for his nap, we usually did something in the afternoon. I'm going to begin with a half box. And I'm going to just write in sick day over here. And usually I don't write as I go when I'm filming plan with me videos, but because this has already happened, that's what I'm going to do this time around. And I'm going to reach for a little emoji sticker. I got this sheet of stickers from a Pip Sticks and I'm going to take a little blue grumpy face and he's going to be my, oh man, I'm sick face. Just like that. And while I'm over here, I'm going to reach for an airplane from Oh Hello Stationery Co. I didn't actually fly out at the beginning of the week, but I just want to mark that this is my vacation. So I'm going to take a pink and stick that airplane there. Okay guys, I'm so sorry about that. The camera turned off in the middle of filming, so I'll quickly walk through what I did while it turned off. The first thing I did was take a full box from this fancy feline weekly kit. I put it down horizontally as a background. Then I layered on top a half box from Allie's Planterhood and a flag from Oh Hello Stationery Co. We did some errands on Monday because it was rainy in Los Angeles on Monday and Tuesday, which I know is pretty unusual. So I actually took this washi tape. It is from the same washi crafts book kit. And I layered that down on Monday and Tuesday to mark that it was rainy and I just used another flag from Oh Hello to demark that. So let's move ahead to Tuesday. I'm going to begin with a decorative sticker from this sheet. I think I'll use these little kitties right here. And I'm going to put them right over here. The one bad thing about these stickers is they are clear in the background so it's a little bit difficult for them to stand out. I'll reach for my Caitlin & Co Designs half box sheet and I will take this blue one. I feel like this is going to look all the same basically but that's okay. On Tuesday in the afternoon we went to Barnes & Noble because it was still raining so I'll just write B and N. But we also went and stopped by a turtle fountain. So I'll just write that in. There is a little cat reading a book on this sticker sheet. So I'm just going to take him, put him over here next to the Barnes and Noble. And that's pretty much all we did that day. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. I can always go back and decorate later. So I'm going to reach for this pink full box now. I'm going to put this down over here on the side. going to layer it like this. We went to the park on Wednesday, so I'm going to take this little sticker from this kitty sheet. She's running down a path, which seems pretty park-like. Then I'll reach for one of my banners from Oh Hello, and this is the pastel sheet. I'll take this green one, and I'll write in park. And then that night, I actually watched my nephew while my brother and sister-in-law had a date night. So I'm going to take another one of these light blue half boxes from Caitlin and Co. Designs and put it over here on the side. And then I'll say babysit. I actually just got these little samplers from Oh Hello Stationery Co. And there's a date night sticker on there, which I'm not going to use right now. So I'll put it over here to represent my brother and sister-in-law's date night. 
Let's go ahead and move on to Thursday. Thursday was really fun because we went to the zoo in the afternoon. So what I'm going to do is take this full box and layer it horizontally here. And I actually brought over my It's a Jungle Out There sticker book from Doris. I am going to use this for a full spread sometime in the spring, but I figured I could use one of these zoo animals on here. We did see elephants at the zoo, so I'll take an elephant, put him right here. Then I'll take this half box from the weekly kit. Make sure I can layer this properly. That's the one good thing about Doris stickers is they peel up really easily. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over until Friday. Friday was definitely a full travel day, so I'm not going to have much to write in. I'll take another kitty cat sticker though and use her over here. I feel like I'm using a ton of half boxes in this spread, so I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit. And I'll reach for my banners from Caitlin & Co. Designs, and I'll just write Travel Day on these. So I'll take a pink and a blue. And I might as well take another airplane sticker and put it over there. Okay, so I put a half box from Caitlin & Co. Designs down over here, and I'm just going to write Rest Day on it because that's all I did on Saturday. I was so exhausted from my trip and I was still getting over being sick. I actually didn't even wake up until 11 o'clock, which is really unusual for me. And I'll put this little sticker with a kitty sleeping next to that. I am going to use one of these half boxes from Hello Ashley Ann because I did do a little bit of unpacking, but I'm going to go ahead and stick another cat sticker in there because we've got a big blank spot. <laughs> I love that sticker. Okay, on to Sunday. I'm going to begin by using my last full box and I'll put it down right here. And I'm going to reach for one of my pink half to-do lists from Oh Hello Stationery Co's February kits because I actually got a lot done yesterday. And I'll use a to-do header from this weekly kit as well. So yesterday I did some laundry. I did blog planning. I filmed pip sticks and I filmed an oh hello haul that is. Then I did quite a bit of planning in terms of my planner. Here's a sneak peek at next week or this week that I'm actually working on. So I did plan which to me is different than blog planning, if you're wondering, just because actually taking out all the stickers and putting them in your planner is a lot different than just thinking about different things that you have to do. And I'll take one of my little planners here from Allie's Planner Hood and stick that down at the bottom. And now I'm going to take a look at the full week because I'm pretty much done, even though I didn't write in everything yet. I have to admit this week looks really weird because I don't have a lot written in and I don't have anything else to write in really. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the camera, I'm going to finish writing in all of these little things and my hydrate and then we'll come back and see what else we can do to spruce this up a little bit. Okay so I've written in everything that I can write in. So what I'm going to do is just take my decorative stickers and place them all around because otherwise it's just going to look pretty plain. So 
let's get to decorating. Okay, so I put a lot of my cat stickers onto the planner and I think I'm going to end there because even though I still have a lot of white space, I don't want it to look too cluttered and I think it is starting to look like that. So I'm just going to leave it here and I don't know how I feel about this. I thought this spread was going to be so much cuter than it actually is and there are two reasons for that. First and foremost, I was away, so I didn't write in any of the normal stuff that I would normally write in, which is my work. Second of all, I was sick, so we could have done a lot more, especially when it was raining out. We really didn't do anything. This is definitely one of the times where I wish I had the Polaroid zip camera because I could have totally dressed up the spread with pictures, but I'm not going to go through the effort of printing them out on the computer and then cutting and pasting. If I had the printer, I would do it because then it would just be a one-step thing, but for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. I do like it. I think it's cute. I think it's different, and when I look back, I'll definitely remember it, but... As for one of my plan with me videos, it's not my best at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's different from what I usually do. If you just discovered my channel through this video, this is not how my plan with me videos usually look. So definitely go ahead and subscribe because I will be back to my normal plan with me's sooner rather than later. And I hope to see you guys in that video. So I will go ahead and say goodbye for now and see you in the next one. Bye.